In this video, we're going to be looking at simultaneous equations. Okay, so we're going to have in each of these cases uh, four pairs of equations, and what it means to solve equations simultaneously is that you're working with both of them and you can mix them together, add uh, some equations, uh, add equations together, subtract them in order in each of these cases to eliminate a variable, to eliminate either the x's or the y's, allowing you to focus solely on the one you haven't eliminated, to solve that, and then you can substitute back in to work out your second value. So if we look at 4x plus y equals 12 and 2x plus y equals 4, if I number these equations, it's quite useful to do that, then what we can see is that we can easily eliminate the y's by subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. So if we do equation 1 take away equation 2, we get 4x take away 2x is 2x, y take away y is 0, and then we've got 12 take away 4 is 8. So if 2x is equal to 8, then x is equal to 4, you can then substitute that in to either of the two equations. Substitute it into the easiest one. So let's try number two. So sub into two. It's useful with simultaneous equations to identify exactly what you're doing at each stage. So we get two lots of x, so two lots of four is eight, plus y is equal to four. So if I subtract eight from both sides, I get y is minus 4. So x equals 4, y equals minus 4. You can also check in 1, 4 lots of 4 is 16, take away 4 is 12. And so it works. So we have x is 4 and y is minus 4. Let's have a look at b. So we have equation 1 and equation 2. Remember, we're trying to eliminate either the x's or y's. Now, it makes sense that we eliminate the x's here because we've got 2x and a minus 2x. And so if I add those two equations together, the x's will cancel. So equation 1 plus equation 2. 2x plus minus 2x is 0. 7y plus 8y is 15y. 16 plus 14 is 30. So we have 15y equals 30. And so, dividing both sides by 15, y must be 2. We then substitute that into one of the two equations. It doesn't really matter which one you use in this case, because they're quite similar. So I'm going to substitute into 1. So we have 2x, we don't know what that is yet, plus 7 lots of y, so 7 twos of 14, must be equal to 16. Now you can take 14 from both sides, oh, not 12, 2 rather, and 2x equals 2, so divide both sides by 2, so x is 1. So then you can check in number 2, Minus 2 times 1, so minus 2, plus 8 lots of 2, so minus 2 plus 16 is equal to 14, so it works. So we have 1 for x and 2 for y. Now for c, we have 6x plus y equals 40, and 4x plus 3y equals 36. We're going to number them again. Now, it's not so straightforward now, because I can't just add these two equations together and expect a variable to cancel. And exactly the same with subtraction. So I've got to do a little bit of manipulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 3. Now, the reason why I'm going to do that is because that will allow me to get a 3y and then I've got a 3y and a 3y, allowing me to subtract one equation from the other. So 6x times 3 is 18x. 
y times 3 is 3y, 40 times 3 is 120. This is a new equation, so I'm going to call this equation number 3. So now I'm looking at equation 3 and equation 2. So I'm going to subtract equation 2 from equation 3. So number 3, take away number 2. So I have 18x, take away 4x, that leaves me with 14x. I've got 3y take away 3y is 0. And I've got 120 take away 36. Okay, and that gets me 84. So 14x equals 84. Divide both sides by 14. And we get 6. So x equals 6. We then need to substitute that into one of the two original equations. Okay, so if I substitute into 1, so sub into 1, we get 6 lots of 6 is 36, plus y equals 40. Subtract 36 from both sides, and so y must be 4. Now you can check that in equation number 2 if you like. 4 lots of 6 is 24. 3 lots of 4 is 12. 24 plus 12 is 36. And so it works. And so we have x is 6 and y is 4. Now for d, we're going to do the same process. Now in c, we had a relatively straightforward choice of working with the y's. You could work with the x's if you like, but it required more manipulation. With this, we could work with either the x's or the y's. It doesn't really matter because it will be the same amount of work either way. Now, I would probably uh, use work with the y's. The reason why, no pun intended, is because I have a plus and a minus, so eventually I'll just be able to add the two equations together, and the y's should cancel. So what I would do is I would multiply equation 1 by 6. I'm multiplying by 6 because that is the number that I have there. And I'm going to multiply this equation by 5 because that's the number I have there. And so they will both have the same coefficient for y. So 1 times 6, 3x times 6 is 18x, plus, well, 5y times 6 is 30y, and then I've got 12 times 6 is 72. Now, that's not all I need to do. I need to multiply equation 2 by 5. Oh, I'm going to call that equation 3, that one. So 2 by 5, 2x times 5 is 10x. Minus 6y times 5 is minus 30y. Minus 20 times 5 is minus 100. And that's going to be equation 4. So now I have two equations that I can add together to eliminate the y's. 18x plus 10x is 28x. 30y take away 30y is 0. 72 take away 100 is minus 28. We can then divide both sides by 28, and so x must be minus 1. Now I can substitute that into either of these two equations. I'm going to substitute into equation 1. The reason why is that the numbers look nicer to work with. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. I've got plus 5y is equal to 12. I can add the 3 to both sides, so 5y is equal to 15, and then divide both sides by 5, and so y is 3. You can then substitute and check in equation 2. 2 lots of minus 1, so minus 2. Take away 6 lots of 3, so minus 18. Minus 2, take away 18, is minus 20. So it works. So the x value is minus 1, the y value is 3. And that is how we can solve simultaneous equations like this.